Hi everyone, Ivan Desjardins with Remax. I'm here to give you the monthly stats for August 2019. Hope you had a great long weekend and uh, September is here. Kids are back to school. That means, uh, it almost means like uh, it's a, a new uh, new year. It's not an, uh, officially a new year, but it's a new season, let's just say. And fall is probably right around the corner. I can see that the, some of the leaves have already started to change colors. So, you know, let's... Uh, Enjoy uh, the uh, the nice fall. Hopefully, we'll have a, a nice fall in front of us. So anyway, let me give you the uh, listings right now that we have on the market. We have uh, 182 listings. That's under 200. A lot of uh, listing I think have expired at the end of the summer. And right now, uh, I, like I said again, as a start of a new quarter, we're getting a uh, a little bit less listings right now on the market. So if you're thinking about selling might not be a, a bad time at all to sell. Um, the average days on the market is 48 days and that average is it seems a little high. It's because of the ones over 800,000 are sitting on the market maybe just a little longer. Under 800,000 it sells fairly quickly. If it's priced right it sells very quickly. Uh, in, something interesting, last year we had 76 sales for the month of August and this year we had 78 sales. So it's almost identical, almost identical in terms of the days on the market, uh, 32 days on the market versus 33 days, uh, no sorry, last year, anyway, just one day difference so it doesn't make much difference. Uh, the average sale price also was almost identical. Uh, 794 last year, 820. So it's maybe, you know, we could have had a, a few higher sales this year, but it's versatile stable right now in terms of the prices of the home and the way uh, things are going. July was, like I did my report last month, July was pretty good. It was actually one of the better Julys we've had in a very long time. So what's the outlook for the fall? The fall looks pretty good. Uh, like I said, uh, lower inventory, interest rates don't seem that they're going to come up. If there's something, they're talking about bringing them down. At some point, also, they're talking about maybe negative interest rates. Uh, I know it sounds pretty unreal, but uh, there's a country right now in Denmark, they do have uh, negative interest rate mortgages. You'll say, what? Yes, negative interest rate mortgages. So it means like if you were to pay 0% interest rates, let's say your mortgage would be $1,000 a month, well, they'll pay you to uh, to take the mortgage. So your payments might be nine seventy five dollars a month instead of uh, 1000 So they're doing everything, you know, to keep the, uh, the economy going. I know there's a lot of talk about recession. We haven't had a, a downturn in a very very long time um, I don't know your call is just as good as mine uh, when I look at all the stats like I said we've seen a, a growth for the last especially here in Canada I think since 97 we've seen some little blips here and there but we've had a tremendous run in the housing market and now the stock market is a little bit jittery uh, the bond market, the interest rates is very low. So there's a lot of questions that we might be asking ourselves on as to where we go next. But uh, let's just say for the next uh, two, three months, six months, things should be fairly stable. So if you have any questions, if you have a question about real estate, you'd like to know what your price of your home is all about in this market, let me know. I'll be glad to uh, come over and chit chat on the, the condition of your home. That's another thing too. I'm very good at uh, going through your home and maybe explaining to you what you should fix first versus something else so you can get the better return on, uh, on your dollars. In the meantime, have a great day and uh, we'll talk to you next month. Take care.